I'm Marlon Wayans, America's greatest actor. And today I'll be looking back at some of my most iconic roles and the preparation I took to immerse myself in character. What drew me to white chicks was its mythological roots, which I found almost Homeric in scope. Let's let's take a look. Everything all right in there? In preparation for that scene, I mentally drew from Act Four, Scene Three of Macbeth. So powerful. I also took so many laxatives that I thought I saw a knife floating in front of me, and I tried to stab myself. It, it, it's still in the white chick Snyder cut. <laughs> Acting requires an almost Machiavellian rawness to be naked in front of one's audience. That is why in over 90% of my movies, I am literally ass naked. Man! These gentlemen will be escorting you off the premises. I don't care who you get to. It's part of the Stanislavski method. Jamar Stanislavski, he's my schizophrenic neighbor. He, he's always naked. The results was an amazing film that the Oscar voters described as not submitted. I don't I like to call myself an actor. I'm a thespian. And in this film, I really thezzed out. Now, you know this avocado on that nine month later. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> That's just nasty. What the hell? Gross. I, I also took on one of my toughest acting challenges playing a black redhead. Or, as I so cleverly improvised in the movie, a ninja. Combining blackness and redheadedness? That's a tough one. The only people to do it successfully were Harry and Meghan and Ice Spice. You thought I was feeling you? That ninja's a munch. It's funny, people often compare me to Marlon Brando, mostly because my name is Marlon. But Marlon Brando, respectfully, could have never played Christian in Fifty Shades of Black, mostly because he's not black and he's dead. Christian Black, he's a very textured and, and, and complicated character. And, and he spoke to me for a number of reasons. Primarily the fact that I love getting spanked. Honestly, this was one of my hardest roles. I mean, especially because Shorty smokes marijuana, something I have no experience with. The director encouraged me to try some, but I resisted. I will not partake in the devil's lettuce. Ah, <laughs> uh, Requiem for a Dream. Oh, yeah, I, I smoked crack for that. Yeah, I smoked a lot of crack. I love that shit. I did tons and tons and tons of crack. For this movie, I also smoked a ton of crack. I don't even know why. It wasn't part of the plot at all. <laughs> okay, now. This one's real grabby. At first, I, I turned this rule down because I didn't feel like it was the right fit. But then the studio backed a dump truck full of cash up to my house, and I, I realized I was the right fit. Little Man is, of course, a remake of the 1957 Swedish tragedy, Dinka Monska. During the filming, I, I drank nothing but breast milk. Still do. <laughs> it can be intimidating to bear your soul in front of your audience, but that is the sacred duty of a thespian. How you doing? Mm. Mm. Oh, you gonna bite my lip? Oh. We did, I think, 38 takes of that scene over four grueling days. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>
True story. At the rap party, I had a, a threesome with that teddy bear and Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Benefits of fame. And there you have it. I'm Marlon Wayans, a national treasure. And those were some of my most iconic roles. I'm honored to share my craft with you guys. You know what I could really go for right now? Some crack. Thank <laughs> you.